Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. As we get closer and closer to the carnival, things are heating up and we're checking in with Tobago because the Masters Kaiso tent is opening this weekend. I have on the line with me Anton Roberts, who's the Vice President of the Masters Kaiso tent. Good morning to you, Mr. Roberts. Pleasant good morning to you, sir. Pleasant good morning to you. How are you doing? All of and Tobago. I am fantastic. I am fantastic. All right, so we're getting ready for the launch of the Masters Kaiso tent this weekend. Before we get into the details of the launch, tell me a little bit about the tent. Um, the Masters Calypso tent is one of the best tents in the island. I would say probably within Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we have some of the best Calypsonians um, nationally. We have Leslie Ann Ellis, who has made it to the big yard on many occasions. Uh, myself, who have been to the humorous Calypso competition final and semifinals consecutively. Um, we have Gavi Sandy, who's also um, a junior Calypso monarch. Um, so the tent is a well-rounded tent, excellent, excellent Calypsonians. Um, like I said, it is one of the best tents. Is it that you um you guys <clears throat> is it that you guys hold auditions for the tent or is it that you select which Calypsonians you want to be a part of it? Um we do, once there are persons interested in joining the tent, we would have um a period where we would sort of interview persons who are interested in joining the tent. Um, because we're always looking for members, some members will leave, um, some would die. So yes, we are always looking for fresh faces to join the tent as well, because we believe in um, preserving the quality as well, and always encouraging younger persons to come into the art form too. Um, so we do have a screening process for persons who want to join the tent. Um, right now, we are surely looking for young blood to join the tent. So okay, we can, well, that's, that's lovely. We have, yeah, because we have lost a few um, over the years. Yeah, tell me, tell me, um, how can people be a part of it? How can they sign up or come to the editions? What's the, what's the process um, like? Well, they can get into contact with Leslie Ann Ellis. Um, she is the Leslie Ann Ellis or Lyndon Rowley. They can get on to them. I would give you that number before we are finished. So they can reach out to those persons if they are interested in joining the tent um, to set up an interview. So they can kind of um, hear the song, put them through a uh, screening process, have them perform with the scene, how well they articulate and things like that. Um, so I'll give you that number before we leave this morning. But you cannot get on the Leslie and Ellis all in done wrong from the tent. Fantastic. So tell me about the, the launch this weekend. What we have in store for, well, I know it's kicking off on Saturday, yeah? Yes, it is kicking off on Saturday. Saturday at 7 p.m. We are at the Show Park Cultural Complex. Um, we start at 7 p.m. sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on the second floor on the right. So you come in, go up the elevator or the ramp, second floor. Um, first floor, second floor on the extreme right. We're going to be there from 7 p.m. There's a cost of $60 per person or two persons for $100, right? You will not regret it. We have a lot of giveaways. We normally have a lot of giveaways once you have our 10 nights. So it's very interactive and everyone comes out a winner, the Calypsonians, even the patrons, right? Mm -hmm. um, of course, the complex is full of parking, so parking is not an issue. Um, and there will be, you know, small little soft, um, soft to drink for refreshments. You're not going to be doing any big sale, but small things would be on sale for refreshments. All right. So we're coming out to show up our cultural complex on Saturday, 7 p.m. You said it's kickoff time. 7 uh, p.m. sharp, yeah. $60 entrance or two persons for 100, 100. yeah? Yes. Uh, and tell me um, about Sunday. Well, we're going to be, also on Saturday, we're going to be having live band. So okay. our band will be Caribbean in Excess one of the best band on the island, led by Mr. Lyndon Rowley. So we're going to be jamming live. Nice. Yes. So come and enjoy, feel the ambience. Um, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's an exciting lineup of Calypsoniums. Myself, Leslie Ellis, Gabe Sandy, Shamika Dinoon, um, Rio, 
we have um, Collis Wright. So it's a pretty, pretty good lineup. And of course, you're gonna have a mix of social commentary, political, of course, I come with some humorous, so nice of the place. So it's gonna be really, 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 really exciting. So make sure and be there. And on Sunday, we are at the Buku Beach facility. That is where we normally keep the Sunday school. We're gonna be there from 6 p.m., right? That is Sunday the 28th. We're going to be there at 6 p.m. at the book facility. That is free of charge. There is no cost. No cost. Free. Um, okay. The only thing that's... we need is just pass a basket for a contribution that goes back to the maintenance of the tent, but it's free to the public. That's very interesting. How come How come the launch, there's a, there's a cost, but for the Sunday, there's no cost? Well, we had to pay for the complex. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I love that. <laughs> All right. So speaking of paying for things, one of the yeah, things I always hear bad. people complain yeah. about every every carnival time when we come around, we hear that, you know, some people don't get a chance to be able to hear the calypsos before they reach in the tent. So they want to be able, they want to get a chance to listen to the recordings or get familiar with the music. Um, do you do you have that similar challenge in your tent where there aren't very many recorded versions of the songs until after the tent is already up and running? No, most of our um, songs are recorded. I guess it's just the airplay. Um, but our songs are recorded. I have songs recorded, many songs recorded. I have maybe 10 songs that I record already. Um, we go to radio stations, but at the end of the day, is if they're going to play the music or not. Um, Gabby sadly has song recorded. Leslie Adelis has songs recorded. Um, all of our collections in our tent have songs, have songs recorded. But like I said, it's if the radio station is going to play the song, that is our next issue. Recording the song and having it played is two different things. So that is a challenge as well, having the song aired enough so persons could get familiar with the song. You know, you know that is, is a challenge. Yeah, yeah I, understand the, I understand the challenge you're discussing there. But for example, I just typed in on YouTube, I typed in your name and I looked for it and I can't find any of the music. So is the music also available for people to be able to access on social media in spite of radio stations? Yes, I think I have. Um, there should be on the, well, I have a different portfolio. I have um, AR talent. You would also see content from me as well on Facebook, on um, Facebook and from YouTube on the AR talent. Um, so that is my handle that I use on the YouTube and on Facebook, right? AR talent, you would see stuff from me, whether it's mass or um, Calypso content, right? Um, so we know we still have that job to do as well, instead of depending only on the radio station. But in this era of technology, we also have to do our job in pushing the songs out there, which is using the platforms, as you say, the YouTube, um, the Facebook, the Instagram, et cetera, to really get the songs out there as well to reach the younger people. Um, so we as Calypsonians have to use the technology and not be used by the technology. Firmly agree, and I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning, and of course, all the best this weekend as we launch the Masters Kaiso Tent in Tobago Shore Park on Saturday and Buku Beach Facility on Sunday. Thank you so much for joining yes, us this morning, yes, Mr. Roberts. Yes. And just as I promised, um, the number for Leslie and Ellis is 762 yes. 2351. 762 2351. So, persons interested in being part of the tent. You can reach out to Leslie and Ellis. You could also reach out to me as well, Anton Roberts, 299-9519, and we can, you know, put forward your your um, package to the, the members, the board members, and we can have a discussion in interviewing you to be part of the tent. So, no problem. like I said, we had um, opening on Saturday at the Shaw Park Cultural Complex, 7 p.m. Don't be late, make it a date. Kaiso, 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 Kaiso is our culture. Yeah. Come and be part of it. Sixty dollars a person, two for hundred. And then on Sunday we are at the Boko Beach facility. Open air, time to party, have a good time, free of charge. Come out and listen, Kaiso.
come out with us. So we don't have nothing to do on in Tobago on a Sunday and a Saturday. Come out, let big people enjoy themselves. Yeah. So thank you so much, Mr. Roberts. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so very much for having me. No problem. Take care. That's Anton Roberts there. He's the Vice President of the Masters Kaiso Tent. And they're launching this Saturday at Shaw Park, as you would have mentioned. And then on Sunday, they head to Buku Beach Facility. We take that quick break. When we come back, we celebrate you and your birthdays. So stay tuned.